Today we're gonna talk about how to handle difficult conversations. And how to not feel like a dick about it. Did you really have to say that? Yes. Time for the intro! Hello heroes, I'm Simone. And I'm Kevin. And welcome to The, the Hero, Hero Within. Within. Let's go! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so there are many conversations that people avoid these days, mm. really hard conversations because they don't really want to get into an argument. Conversations such as... So, uh, I cheated on you. I'm really sorry, I gambled our last $3,000 away for the channel. Are you kidding me? I think you need to see a psych. You're looking a little cray cray. I'm not fucking crazy! Fuck you! I think you are. Honestly, I think Black Panther was such a shitty movie. So we're going to discuss how to deal with hard conversations from start to finish. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, let's get into part one. This is before the conversation. So step one is to prepare for the conversation. All right, so understanding the facts, right? Mm -hmm. So there's some things you gotta consider. One of them being, what part of the issue are you responsible for? What assumptions do you have about the person that may hinder the conversation? What things from your past may trigger something during the conversation? And finally, what is the issue that I wanna help them solve? The next one is don't war game. Don't plan that this is going to go wrong. Plan that it's going to go right. Just put faith in the person that you're gonna work it out together. All right, next up, understand your desired outcome. What are your wants and needs? Can I do this solo? Do I perhaps need a mediator of some sort, like a close friend in case things go wrong, right? Yeah. So a good situation in which a mediator would be useful would be between a parent and a child due to the uneven dynamic of their relationship. Absolutely. Yeah. The next one is find the right location to be in. Mm. So you can do this anywhere and usually it's best to do it in a private or somewhat private setting. You can either do it inside the house if you feel comfortable, you know, in your car, some people like to take a drive. Mm. You can also do it at lunch. Invite them to lunch or coffee. Say, hey, I wanna, mm. you know, have a conversation with you. How about we go out for a second, you know, out my treat. And then from there, you start off on a positive foot. Next up, find the right time to talk. Find the time of the day when both of you are not stressed. You know, if you're gonna try to have this heavy conversation with someone just coming through the door from a crappy day at work, it's not gonna be a good look. The next thing you should think about is don't put off the conversation. <laughs> There's so many people who do this, mm. but the longer you put off the conversation, the more nervous you're gonna get and the less likely you're gonna bring it up and to the point where it just builds in you and you just explode. Don't delay, just do it. Just do it. All right, so the final thing to take away from this is stop worrying about being light. You know, worrying about being light is gonna start you at a disadvantage. You know, be open-minded, come from a place of openness and curiosity when you're going this, into this thing. And remember this too, you're not going to please everyone. You know, there's gonna be some choppy waters, but you know, you're just gonna have to learn how to navigate that. People are responsible for their own reactions and you're responsible for your own. All right, folks, that is it for part one of having difficult conversations. Mm -hmm. What do you think we're missing from this list? Let yeah. us know in the comments below. Yeah. And if you like our content. Be sure to like, comment, share, and I'm gonna tell you something. Look at me, I'm gonna tell you something. I want you to smash that subscribe button or there's gonna be consequences. Capiche? Ooh. Yes, I'm Tony Soprano right there. You already know. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> do it. <laughs> and until next time, be sure to gain knowledge. Take action and be, be unstoppable. unstoppable. Mm -hmm. <laughs>